my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video. I have some Christmas recommendations slash Christmas books in general that I'm going to talk about. So I actually have not read very many Christmas books, just in general. So the recommendations are only going to be a few, uh, so I thought I'd add some more just bookish fun with talking about some other Christmas books that I have not read. So obviously my video of, of a reading vlog during Fall of the Lothon as well as Thrill to the Weekend will have gone up before this, but because I am pre-recording everything due to going home for the holidays, I have not read those books yet. So I'm going off of the books, the only Christmas books I've read are the books I've read this year up until this point. So I have three of them to talk to you about, and I loved them all. So the first one that I'm going to mention is A Christmas Carol. It's a classic. If you haven't read it, you really should just because it is a Christmas classic. My mother reads it every year and now I want to read it all the time or like almost every year just to think of her. So we follow our Scrooge and he is not a fan of Christmas. So then he goes on three adventures, Christmas past, Christmas present, Christmas future with these like ghost spirits and he learns the real meaning of Christmas. It's not a long story, it's by Charles Dickens. It really does put you in the Christmassy spirit. The second book that I have read is In Holidays by Christina Lauren. This is a Christmas Groundhog's Day story. I liked it. I think it was a solid, good book. I know a lot of people are Christina Lauren fans. It was my first book by them. I enjoyed it. So our main character is not doing so hot. She's got a meh job. She is lonely, she's had a crush on this guy forever, and she's going to see him again at Christmas when her family goes up to the cabin to celebrate, as they do every year. However, after having an unsuccessful holiday, she ends up getting in an accident and gets transported back until time onto the plane that they're going to the cabin. So she has, you know, the whole Groundhog's Day thing until she lives through when she's supposed to after she's learned her lesson. The nice, the fun thing about it is that it goes over Christmas break. So you get all the Christmassy all the time. There is no break from Christmas and it is wonderful. It just, the vibes are there. The Christmas activities are fun. I kind of want to act out some of the activities from the book just to have some Christmas fun. <laughs> Then the last Christmas book that I have already read that I would like to let you know is Ten Blind Dates. I, this, this book is nice because it really, it's a good book for before Christmas, on Christmas, or even after Christmas because this book stretches from a few days before Christmas all the way up until New Year's. And so our main character, her boyfriend kind of talks to his friend and is like, I don't want to be with this with her anymore and she's like oh, we're done and she is heartbroken it is so sad so to comfort her her family decides that they are gonna set her up with 10 blind dates over the holidays so each family member finds a date sets it up and she has to go on it so she goes on these 10 dates like I said happening before around Christmas and leading all the way up until New Year's so it is a Christmas book, but also I think would be a good one to read for after Christmas when you're kind of like in that holiday high, but you know it's coming to an end. I think this is a good book for that time. There are a couple Christmas books that I am going to be reading, but I will be reading Royal Holiday. This is about a woman whose daughter has a work event or is going to London for some uh, reason over the holidays, so she decides sure I'll tag along and then I believe she falls for a security guard or someone close to the royal family so it's a royal holiday that's all I know and that's all I want to know I will also be reading 
The 12 Dates of Christmas. This was a book that was picked for me on my Instagram. So if you want to participate in choosing future books for me, then you should follow me on my bookstagram and the link is down below if you want to. Hopefully, there are a couple other Christmas books that I want to read, but I don't own. So I'm going to go to the library, see if they're there, or see if I can't get the ebook or the audiobook for it. That includes like The Holiday Swap, A Holly Jolly Diwali, uh, The Matzo Ball, although I know that Hanukkah has already ended. I still would love to read the book. And like, there are so many more like Christmas contemporary romances that I would love to read. But that's really all I have. Sorry, today's video is short, but hopefully it's still sweet. Like I said, I just haven't read that many Christmas books, but the ones I have read have been pretty good, and the ones I'm going to read, I'm really excited for. So if you have any Christmas book recommendations, please leave them down below. I would love to know what they are. Hopefully I can get them in for this Christmas season yet. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this short little video. If you are interested, I do post videos four times a week in December, but my normal posting schedule is Sundays and Wednesdays, so click the subscribe button and hit the bell so that you're notified when I do upload. Otherwise, like I said, all of my bookish social media is down below in the description. Like this video by giving it a thumbs up if you actually liked it, and until I see you all in the next video, I wish you a Merry Christmas if you celebrate, or a Happy Holidays if there are other holidays you celebrate, or you just like being surrounded by the holiday season, even if you don't celebrate anything. But I will also wish you happy reading.